Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Generation DIY and today I am back at the Bratz CIY shop and I'm going to show you guys how to make your own Bratz band. I'm going to start out by making a drum kit and I'm using this one as a reference. It's from the It's Good to Be a Bratz video. So I'm going to show you guys how to make your own version right now. So the first thing I'm taking is a piece of square fabric and this is going to be our mat for where everything just sits, just like this one right here. Next, I'm taking a piece of corrugated cardboard. Then I just took two pieces of cardboard and I cut it into little circles. So now I'm going to roll this piece of cardboard into a circular shape. Once I have the right amount, I can just cut the excess off. And remember when you're using scissors to have parental supervision, and now is when you start using your glue gun. And again, you want parental supervision because this is very hot. Right now, I'm gonna use a piece of paper and get my glitter. I'm just gonna take some white glue and I'm gonna glue along the ridges so that it will stick. So I'm just gonna press this onto the glitter and roll it. You can go crazy with this step. So now we're going to recreate two of the drums and I'm just gonna use two little wooden spools for this. And for the drum head, I'm gonna use some white felt. I'm just gonna take my marker and trace around it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these out. The next step is just to stick them onto the top of these wooden spools. Now let's set these aside and let's move on to the symbols. And I'm taking two pieces of circular cardboard and I'm just gonna color those silver. So now I'm going to make a little hole in the middle using a sharp pencil. And you might wanna get a parent to help you do this. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take a pipe cleaner and string it through the center. And then on the top, you just wanna kind of bend it over so that it stays in there. The next thing I'm gonna do is take one of these small wooden spools and I'm just gonna string the bottom through it. And now I'm just gonna bend it so that it has three legs. So now that the glitter on our bass drum has dried, I'm gonna start decorating the front of it with the band logo. So I'm taking two thimbles for the bottom so that it'll stand by itself just place it so that it'll sit on either side. Then to glue it on, I'm getting my hot glue gun. So your whole drum set is finished and now let's move on to the guitar. So now we're gonna create the guitar using a foam sheet and a popsicle stick. So I'm gonna take my marker and just freehand a leaf. I'm gonna draw another leaf, but a little bit smaller so that I can place it on top. And I'm gonna move on to the head of the guitar. And now I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut everything out. Now I'm gonna grab my popsicle stick and just glue that inside. So just lay this piece on and then put another strip of glue on top of here. Just put your other piece on top. So for the strings of the guitar, I'm gonna use this purple embroidery floss and basically I'm just gonna cut six pieces of equal length. Now I'm gonna take my six strings and glue them down onto the neck of the guitar. And now you can take the head of your guitar and glue it onto the top. So now I'm taking some leather cord, just put a dot of glue on the top of it and then just stick on your cord. And now put a dot of glue on the head and do the same thing, just press it down. So there you go, you have a brand new awesome guitar for your lead guitarist. So next we're going to make the keyboard and I'm gonna start out with the keyboard stand. So for that, you're gonna need four wooden spools. I'm just gonna glue these two together with a glue gun. So for the actual keyboard, I'm taking a piece of cardboard. So I'm just gonna apply some glue along the edges and just fold over the felt so that it covers the cardboard. And once that's all glued down, I'm gonna cut off any excess that I have. And now I'm gonna cut out the black keys from the black felt. I'm just gonna cut out a half inch to an inch strip and cut that into a rectangle so it's easier to work with. And just cut it into smaller strips, about a quarter of an inch. So here are all of my black keys. So now I'm gonna draw on the lines of the keyboard. So these are going to be about half an inch. So just glue a line of that onto the top of the keys. And now just take one of your black keys and press it on. And just repeat the process for all of your black keys. The final step is to connect your keyboard stand to your keyboard. I have some washi tape here. Now I'm just gonna stick this onto the front of the keyboard. And your new keyboard is ready for the show.
So there you go, that's how you make your very own Bratz band. Here is Yasmin on the bass, and she is super calm and zen, so that's why she's playing the bass. So next we have Sasha on the drum kit, and she is basically the backbone of the band, and she gets to be pretty aggressive on the drums. So here is Chloe, and I put her on the leaf guitar because she's got that all-American vibe going on, and she is ready to rock out. Lastly, we have Jade here, and she is the lead singer and also plays the keyboard. If you recreate any of these, make sure to share them with the world using the hashtag CIYshop. If you want to see more of Brad, don't forget to subscribe to the Brad's channel and give this video a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel, Generation DIY, to see more from me. And now we have our super cute base for the pig phone case. Now I'm going to start gluing it on. As always, I'm going to start along the edges and I'm also gonna do an X through the middle because that will make sure that the center will be glued down. 